I'm Richard Banks, traveling in a remote state on the northeastern cusp of India called Assam, a throne room of rushing rivers, raving monsoons, and the most soothing of teas. But perhaps most thrilling, Assam is home to a staggering array of wildlife. One animal, the Indian one-horned rhinoceros, stands as a special symbol to the people here. I'm off to find what the one-horned rhinoceros means to the people of Assam and why it flourishes here as in no other place. Somewhere in the far, far reaches of India, in the shadow of the Himalayas, along the misty banks of the Brahmaputra River, walks an elusive creature, the one-horned rhinoceros, a rare species that a hundred years ago nearly vanished from the face of the earth. What kept the rhino from falling into the chasm of extinction? What can its story teach us about our world today, about saving precious wildlife, and, for that matter, all living things? Let's go find some rhinos. Rhinos once roamed the earth. Not long ago, Africa teemed with them. Too many to count. But today that continent is almost empty of the tank-like beasts. While here in Assam, there are still tracks where thousands roam. What went right here? What can we learn? Protected by natural barriers, Assam remained isolated for centuries. And in spite of hypnotic landscapes, parades of wildlife and deep culture, it remains little known to the rest of the world. Manas National Park, tucked against the border of neighboring Bhutan, okay. embodies adventure. So I just, I just spin on like this? Yeah. Okay. You go closer to him, then you'll be more comfortable. Okay. okay. Yeah. Here, Himalayan foothills give way to tropical forest and boundless grasslands. If this place didn't exist, you couldn't invent it. And nobody misses the elephant in the room. There's no better view. There's no better ride in this park than on top of an elephant. Their long, sleepy strides on cushioned feet suggest an appointment at the end of the earth. And though we may be close, we're in no hurry to get there.